I haven't worked since September the 25th. Have you not? <laughs> I'm not. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexia for you all that don't know me. And I have a friend here with me today, mm -hmm. Ashley. Hi. So, we are both sitting airport standby. Well, really, I'm sitting airport standby. It's 11.31 p.m. She just got off at 11. Um, I'm on until 1. We're bored, so we decided to do a little video and I figured this would be a good one because Ashley is one of the first people that I met on my journey to earning my wings. So we're just going to tell y'all our story and hopefully this will motivate you to keep going. If you have not earned your CJOs yet, make friends through the process even if they're at other airlines or you might end up at the same airline in the same training class, etc, etc, etc. So. I'll let Ashley tell y'all how we like started talking. I slid in her DMs. I was like, oh, what's good? No, okay. <laughs> um, how did we meet? We, okay, we was in a fly girl group. Okay. Mm. And then I think I had posted something about going to the American Airlines interview. Yeah. Yep. And we were supposed to go on the same day. And we just kind of connected from there, and yep, we went to the, we met in person at the interview. She was and, late. <laughs> probably why I didn't get the job, but <laughs> anyways, um, we met in person. We both applied to JetBlue, like, but we always kept in contact from like what December yeah. of two thousand sixteen. Damn, we must be friends a year, girl. It's been, yeah. <laughs> So it all started off via social media. Like she said, she posted in one of the um, groups on Facebook. It's um, Ebony Christina's Fly Girl um, mm -hmm. Facebook page group. Um, she's also a YouTuber. I'm sure y'all watch her videos, know about it, go join the group. Mm -hmm. so, <clears throat> we're going to the interview together, you know, and on their group, everybody's so sociable and friendly. So you just talk to people, had the same interview date, met up there. We both got thanks, but no thanks. Right. Um, they didn't want us. <laughs> we didn't want them back. Right. Whatever. It's Jet Blue. <laughs> yeah. All right. But the crazy thing is, we applied to Jet Blue at the same time. Like, like I said, we were talking to each other throughout yeah. our whole process from so starting with what American. our interview was January nineteenth. Nineteenth. It was one of them teens, so nineteenth, and we applied to Jet Blue January first. Mm -hmm. Or I think you applied the first. I applied like a few, like the third or second yeah. or something like that. But anyway, so we ended up not getting it. Literally, like. Right, when she we got her blue that. review before me, and I was at the American interview, stressed the f out because I didn't get oh, my. I had yes, you already, already had yours. Oh. But the day that I got the thanks but no thanks from American, I got the invite from oh, from, from JetBlue. Blue. So okay, so she yeah. remembers better than I do. I got good memory. <laughs> so yeah, so and that was in January, and then I think I've. I don't know if I've ever told y'all my little story with um, first applying here and missing my first blue review by three minutes. If I haven't told y'all that, I'll tell y'all another time. So anyway, so she got her CJO and was all happy. She I, was stressed, like, oh my God. Like, I used to have to talk her <laughs> off a cliff every single day. Like, Alexia, you are going to get this job. You are going to get your CJO. It's okay. We're going to go to training. If you're not going to go to training this class, you're going to go to the next one. It's okay. You're going to be fine. Literally, she was so stressed. Literally. Because the thing is, is that when you're going through this process, yes, you have friends, obviously, that you've known forever, your family, but they do not understand this process and how intense it is and how much it can stress you out and how competitive it is and how these airlines make you wait for the longest periods of time so you have to talk to somebody that obviously is in the same mindset as you so me and Ashley used to literally be on Facebook Messenger <laughs> 24 hours a day literally you know, like and like she was living in Texas so we like I lived in Ohio so we had a different time zone mm -hmm. still write each other like Girl, I just wait this just, up. just somebody just said this like so, <sighs> Yeah. You gotta have a partner to do this with. <laughs> like, if we ain't got nobody to talk to about this, because regular people don't want to hear about it. They want to hear about it, what kind of benefits they're gonna get, mm -hmm. when you're gonna be flying. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hear about how you're getting the job. Yeah. So you need to get like a buddy or something. Exactly. If you works. haven't made a friend yet in the process, go ahead and find you one. Connect with somebody, anybody. But but literally, yeah. Every day it was something. 
and then me day. waiting for my CJO was intense. She already had hers. I had to go to my blue review, and it was just like, Lord. You gotta go to JBU. Yep. You gotta go to JetBlue and get that CJO. Yep. And she did. And we actually ended up going to training together. Yeah, Isn't that crazy? Like, that's like, the craziest thing, though, because. Meant to be friends. Her application was technically still the January 1st one, and mine ended up being the April mm -hmm. 1st one because, like I said, my first um, blue review, I was three minutes late and they sent me home. So, yeah, y'all, don't be late. Um, to be on time, to be. Yeah, so yeah. To be on time is to be late. To be early is on time. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are on time and on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> funny. So once I got my CJO, um, obviously Ashley was already ahead of the game because she already had hers. So I wasn't sure if I was going to be in that same training class. And then as some of you all know, the airline has postponed a lot of our training dates that we were supposed to have at the end of the summer, end of the year. So I was worried that I wasn't going to make it. Mm -hmm. And y'all, that was intense freak out sessions too. Yeah. But you know, I wasn't the only one freaking out. She freaked out a lot too. Yeah. Okay. You know, it was. I freaked out in training more. So I didn't really freak out like. Yeah, I freaked out more so in training, but like I was stressed out because my interview, actually my blue review got canceled. My first oh, blue review yeah, got canceled, canceled, and then I had to wait. It like got a canceled month. a month to to go to the next blue review. So I freaked out about that, but other than that, like yeah, you know, I'm like, what if I don't get it? And like, then you know, like, what is training gonna be like? Neither one of well, this is both our first airlines. Like, mm -hmm. never have done this before, so we are both fresh brained Gosh. and worrying about everything just mm -hmm. probably like y'all are so it's normal to do that that's the whole point of this video everything and every emotion that you're going through it's we normal mm -hmm. we understand it Woosa. right calm down yeah. get friends that can talk you off a cliff because <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you like you'll need that like you definitely need mm -hmm. it because training is stressful y'all know y'all saw my vlogs training is <laughs> If she looked stressed on her vlog, I was like 10 times worse because she was calming me down. Like, I didn't do yeah. that. So, Ashley was in the AM class. So Y'all know we had two separate classes during Ooh. training. I was PM. She was AM. Oh, Lord. And Ashley would have me nervous all day long. Talking about, oh, we did this today and we learned that today. And da -da 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 -da. Mm. Nerves on ten, y'all. Yes, I'm but. not a really good test taker. I mean, I passed all my tests, but like, mm -hmm. I'm not a good test Team, taker. We don't fail tests. Yes, we don't do that. Mm. I'm a good test taker. Then I'm also not a good study person. Like, I don't like to study. So I just have to read my fam over and over and over. But I would, like, interpret it different. And everybody would be like, no. <laughs> and then I start freaking out. Yeah. It was a couple times I had to come to, like, early morning some, study sessions some with them. Some loose study <laughs> sessions. So, and then remember, I think I told y'all how instructors would teach differently. Mm. So we had pretty much different instructors majority yeah. of the time. So, you know, just talking to her about what she learned and how she learned things and then comparing it to what we had learned and how they taught us sometimes just did not mesh well. Yeah. So then there were some times where I think I drew a line one time and I was like, look, no, done. I'm not talking to you no more about this. <laughs> We're not studying together no more. But she studied with me every time, so I don't know why she said that because my Cause I was would like, freak out. Come study with me. Uh, and she would do just fine. Like every time, what was the lowest you got, like an 85? No, I got an 80 the last test because I used to, <laughs> like... The last test was hard, though. It was hard. It was It hard. was very hard. It was just a lot. It wasn't actually hard. It was just... You were just over it. Yeah. You just, like, whatever. But like, it was still, like, you don't know medical. Like... Yeah. You know, it was... It was just hard. But anyways, y'all, we are here. Well, we're three months in now. Almost. almost. We graduated well, almost July 25th. It is October. July to August. August to September. September to October. Hmm. June, but technically our higher date is June. So yeah, yeah. four months. Yeah. So we're but it feels it. like eternity. It does. It feels like we've been here forever. Let's talk to Ashley about her experience with the dreaded reserve life. Ashley, how do you feel about reserve life? Okay. What's your pros and your cons? To my fruit snack. Okay, right, so honestly... I hate reserve. <laughs> I, I hate it. Okay. 
But they're probably gonna be like, you never have anything positive to say about reserve, and that's just simply because reserve it sucks. You know. So I'm gonna say it like this. So the last time I, it's like what? It's sep- October the fifteenth, right now. October the fifteenth, I think. I haven't worked since September the twenty fifth. Have you not? <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't know that? No. I just said that over there. I wasn't listening. So I haven't worked since September the 25th. <laughs> and okay, but how many reserve blocks have you had since then? So I had a six-day block. Mm-hmm. I had a four-day block. And then I had like a day after one of my trips. After that one trip. Mm. So she... Okay. So, so I've, of, I've been at work. Out of 11 days of being on reserve, she has not been used. Is And right now I'm on... Days. A day. This is one of three. I'm on airport standby. I'm not getting used. I'm actually done. I'm still here though. So I hate reserves. So it's like a, it's like a hit or miss if you're gonna work. You know, I don't like that. Like I'm used to like working. But at the same time, I guess the the pro would be that I'm still getting paid. Yeah. I could just sit at home and watch Grey's Anatomy and still get paid. She got stuck on Grey's Anatomy like the I'm beginning obsessed. of the summer, <laughs> like for season one, y'all, and we on season like thirteen. Or but I'm on season Grey's. ten now. Oh really? Mm-hmm. So maybe by the beginning of the next season, you'll be able to. No, I'm about to finish this season. I'm about to finish these little three seasons and start. Oh, it's getting good too. It's getting juicy. Um, but yeah, the reserve is not lit. I will say. No, I don't got nothing positive to say about reserve. I just find one positive thing. Getting paid and I'm not working. Okay. That's my positive. But it's a lot of negatives that go into it, you know, being broke. Unless you actually don't have bills and you only I think care being yourself. broke is just a negative in life, point blank, period, regardless of if True, you're on reserve but, but, or not, like, but, like, I was telling Zach, like, if you only have yourself, like, I only have myself to take take care of. I have a crash pad, which is 275 and a phone bill. So the max that I'm spending a month on, like, bills is 150 Three hundred and seventy five dollars. Yeah. That's it. I got a little bit more bills than that. So but I ain't that broke, but I'm broke. Yeah. So I mean they get because, better though. Yeah. 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 The better. paychecks are tiny in the beginning. I've told y'all this. I've told y'all to save. How much was your first paycheck ever here? During training or like after after, after training? It was like four ninety five or five hundred and something dollars. Yeah, mine was five hundred. My last paycheck was five hundred some dollars because I didn't work. Really? Mhm. Y'all hear that? Five hundred. Well, after my first five hundred check, it gets better. Like I haven't had a check. I hadn't had a check that small either, so that one kind of slapped me in the face. I was like, Burr. yeah, my this month. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, safe what? Yeah, this month. That paid two bills. Yeah, because I don't have no time away from base. That is everything on your check. Yeah. Time that's away exactly from what base I was just say. is everything like. So, we get. So, in the airline industry, you get paid twice a month. Not bi weekly. So, not every other Friday or every other whatever, but twice a month. So, we get paid the 8th and the 20th here. So, one of our paychecks is just going to be half of our guarantee and per diem from the previous month. And then one of the other ones is going to be the remainder of our guarantee and then, like, all of our extra stuff on top of our pay. So, like I've told y'all, if I work, like, the F1 position, I might get paid a little bit more. If I do whatever, there's all there's all kind of codings and things that go on that can go into your pay. But one paycheck has that and then one paycheck is just kind of normal. Mm-hmm. So if we're not working, if we're not flying, we don't have all those little extra tidbits to add on top of our paychecks to make our paychecks big, fat, and pretty is what we're saying. So sitting reserve and yes, you still get paid your minimum guarantee, but yeah, that's there's like there's minimum. no cushion to yeah. make it pretty, y'all. So if you got real life bills, you mm-hmm. might want to reconsider, reconsider, or just you know save save your money or. But I wouldn't even say saving helps because I say <laughs> I was like the queen of saving. I saved like I think how much did I save? I think I saved about two thousand dollars before. I mean that ain't a lot. I blew through that like the first month of training. Did you? <laughs> like training and the but, first month of flying. Like I blew through that. Like I I'm not the first month of flying. Yeah. Yeah, I would say the first month. Like I didn't have none of my savings. Like I have to like it's a little bit of something in my savings, but it ain't. Yeah. My mom has to give me money. Yeah, I still call my mom for money too. Just just to 
to milk that though. Yeah. But. Well, well, sometimes my mom is really nice though, because I always I explain to her that we're poor. But she be like, "Don't say that," and it's like me a little something in my my phone. Look, even if you fifty on reserve, you are gonna call your mama for money, okay? I don't care what you say, cause like literally, those paychecks are. They go to food and transportation. I swear that's what I spend my money on. Even yeah. though we get like money for transportation, but somehow if I run out, like I still spend money on transportation for some reason. I mean that that we get a transit card each month, and not every airline does this. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I don't. I don't know what other people do because I don't work for other people. But here, we get a transit check each month that can go towards Uber, bus fare, train fare, anything that will allow, um, what is it called when you put it on the app? Commu- like a commuter card. Commuter car. benefits. Yeah, commuter benefits. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes, like right now, if I leave at 1, the last shuttle leaves at 12.50. So technically, I would either have to take the city bus, which is 275, and it's going to take me like... 35 minutes to get back to the crash pad the apartment and it's late and I'm tired and it's you know I just don't want to so I would rather mm-hmm. take a uber or lyft which is then $20 you know so it's yeah. like the money goes very quickly mm-hmm. we don't have no cars out here it's expensive and y'all know I've been on this food hunt struggle so getting to food costs some money too money. anyways y'all back to the happy stuff mm-hmm. Um, Ashley's been planning a few trips. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm invited yet. Here she goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mexico was like spurred a moment with my roommates at the end of the month. So four of us are going to Mexico. We just paid it and that's it. Oh, but, already, oh, oh it's already a buck? It's like, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that? No. I said that. <laughs> Upset. So hopefully we'll get to plan a trip. I want to uh, go somewhere her, in January. Gone. I've never been to. I've been to California, but I've never been to LA. Like I want to go there. There's a lot of places I want to go. So hopefully we get to do them because we get flight benefits and our real flight benefits kick in December 28th. So yeah. So we also have a little wait period. So as out of the gate, as soon as we basically go to training we can start using our benefits with our airline but we do still have to wait a certain period to use um, international benefits with other airlines so and then it's also our uh, parents um, your or, parents or your travel companion yeah they can also start using so that's exciting so now i can start flying internationally go to paris go to Ooh. zanzibar tanzania africa where she don't want to go with me but whatever i didn't uh, be- who don't want to go to zanzibar i want to go to tanzania though it's, that's where zanzibar is yeah. how much is that okay has that flight left what time was that flight supposed to be hmm that one little orange flight has a stuff. What that, what that mean? Look how short I look. I can't help that. <laughs> <laughs> your heels off. So we're gonna go walk to the terminals and see what's going on because there's three airports standby still here and there's only one flight that's supposed to depart at midnight, which it's 11.57 right now. So once all the flights are gone, we can go home. So I just... I'm ready to go. I don't want to sit here till one. So we're gonna go see what's going on with that. Like she got some authority. She's gonna be like, what are you doing? Why did Sunday take off? What can we do to expedite this process? And they're gonna look at us like And I'm just bored and I'm not sleepy because I slept majority of the day away. Me too. So let's go bother an AO. Hopefully it's a nice AO. Gate agent. Still says delayed. There's the AO right there. Let's go ask her. So we're over here by the gate. It's 12:01. Where it still says. I mean, I don't know. Let's go talk to old girl right here. Going on with Berlin. So we handled that up. That flight is gone, and we are free to go. Almost. They're waiting for wheels up, but about to pack my stuff up and decide if we're gonna wait until 12:50 to catch the shuttle or just hop in an Uber Lyft. Which I'm probably just gonna hop in Uber Lyft because I'm tired and I'm back on reserve tomorrow 
at 12. So y'all have a blessed night. Say bye to Ashley. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. This is.